Beautiful Sagittarius, this is Tammy with Spot On Psychic Readings, and I'm coming in today to do your April reading. <laughs> Thought I had the right cards in my hand, and I don't because I like to use these light worker cards with you guys. So I'm I want to look into multidimensionality, okay? And Sagittarius of all the signs, you guys are the most diverse as far as your multidimensionality. You know, it's like you are a star being in an earth body. And that's a hard thing. I know a lot of you are feeling it. And I, I read all of your comments. And I know, like, you come into these readings in a different way. You know, it's like, um, I'm Sagittarius myself, so I, I get it. You know, I understand the multidimensionality. And so does Chippy, because he lives in me. Here's your cookie. Go take a nap. Okay. So, um, you know... Sagittarius is very different. You guys are spiritual warriors and you're truth seekers and you're very independent and you're very connected to um, all things psychic and spiritual and um, many of you are star seeds. Uh, these are the star seed and empath cards. So let's just see what they're gonna say. We're gonna look into these first and then I'm gonna go into the more traditional tarot and look at your earth life. And we'll see if we can mesh the two together. Okay, good luck with that, right? Okay, so I'm going to pull these by feel for you today, Sag. Okay, thanks for coming in. Some of you checked to see if I was okay um, because I um, took a little bit of time off and I've been out of town and I've seen my family and my earth family <laughs> and um, I've got nice fresh energy for you today. So let's see what's coming. Sagittarius. Oh, here we go. I always pull these by feel because um, I get additional meaning that way and I don't skip over anything. Okay, let's see what these say, Sag. What's it like living a Sagittarius Chippy, huh? Now Chippy's a fire sign too. He's a little Leo. He was born on 8-2. So we go along well with our fire energy. <laughs> okay, let's see. We've got Lifting the Veil, We Are the Hathers, Deep Love, Mother's Milk, Bertha's Portal. Very nurturing energy. Trust the timing. The blue flame. Yeah, we've talked about that on this channel before. Um, how many of you all have seen the um, blue lights on, the, on your ceiling at night? Have you seen those? I love when they come around, you know, and the color seems to have changed, at least for me over the years. When I saw the blue lights in the 90s, which is when I first started seeing them, actually in the middle of eight, yeah, yeah, around 1987 or eight. I started seeing the electric blue lights and they would swirl. I don't even know how to describe them. They're so beautiful. And then <clears throat> I didn't see them for a long time. And then recently I started seeing them again, but now they're a paler blue, almost like more that color. You know, when I see them now, sometimes white um, or silvery. So hi, you wanna pull cards too? <laughs> you do. We're all out of cookies, Chippy, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, we're all out of cookies. So here's what's really significant in April for you all, Sag. This is having to do with lifting the veil. Lifting the veil. And I know a lot of you are feeling the veil has already lifted. Uh, this is questioning everything. Anything unaligned must go. <laughs> and Sag, I know you guys are good at that. It's like if it's not working, Sagittarius tends to cut it out. You know, you tend to... Um, not stick with things that aren't working for you, whether it's a situation or a job or where you live or who you're with. You know, it's like um, not doing that anymore. <laughs> you know, you guys are very strong about that sort of thing. And I feel like, you know, the more the veil lifts, the more you're seeing the truth of the matter. And the more you see the truth, the more you can't put up with anything that doesn't fit that. And, and it's not it's not it's not aligned with you if it's not aligned with your spirituality you're just not going to do it so this is really going to be significant this month and i feel like with um mercury retrograde and the eclipses 
coming up, especially the big solar eclipse on the 10th, or is it the 8th? <laughs> now I can't remember. Um, next week. <laughs> you guys correct me in the comments. I can't remember the date right now. But anyway, when it comes up, it's going to really bring up some energy. Talk about lifting the veil. Yeah. Um, it's going to be an interesting one. And I think it's going to really bring some things to the surface to be looked at. I think it's going to really bring up a lot of truths. Even if you don't hear about it, you're going to know it. You know, Sagittarius, you guys are, I know when I come in here to read for you, I am reading for a lot of psychics. And, um, and I'm glad to have you here, by the way. I love reading for other psychics because you guys get it, you know. And Sagittarius kind of is the psychic sign in a lot of ways. And you're going to feel that veil lift. You may see things come to the surface that nobody else does. You know, just, um, you'll know. You just know things. I mean, it just happens like that. You just know things. Especially if you're an empath. So your crossing card may have something to do with mothers, mothers, daughters. Um, I say daughters because daughters are uh, often mothers to their daughters. You know, it's that sort of thing. And this is having to do with mothers in particular and birth as a portal and deep, deep love. And this is having to do with a challenge for you coming up in April. So some of you might have actual um, issues with a mother energy, okay? Either your mother or you as a mother with your children, or it could have to do with um, your star family, okay? <laughs> Take it as it resonates because we're looking at the star seed part of things here. Your mother, for some of you, may not be a real mother, okay? I, I'm just saying, um, take it as it resonates because sometimes our earth mothers aren't necessarily who we consider our mother, <laughs> okay? You know how that goes. I mean, if you're, if you're from the stars, as I know a lot of you are, you came through an earth mother in order to get here, okay? But your star seed mother is still out there. So th sometimes there's a conflict. Sometimes there's a miss, uh, missing feeling or connection in that way. Okay. And that may come up. That may come up for you this month. So especially with Mercury retrograde and the eclipse. So just, you know, pay attention to that. So what's hanging over you is waiting on this new earth. Like when is it ever going to get here, you guys? We're all waiting with bated breath, right, for this um, new earth. It says, it's happening. Keep holding the vision. And I know it is. I know it's true. But I'm getting awfully impatient. Are you? <laughs> it's like, come on. We've waited long enough, you know. So it says, trust the timing. Here's the next card, of course. Trust the timing. And I know we're all trying to. Trust the wave you came in on. Time is not running out but our patience is, right? And here's the blue flame, spontaneous awakening, activation, and integration time. Yeah, and that's exactly what the blue blue lights on the ceiling were doing. There's also the blue light people. Um, some people have commented about them. I don't know a lot about them except what little I've read, thanks to you all's comments. Um, we learn a lot from each other here in the comments, so feel free to leave comments. I, I love it. When you do that if you want to share please do okay i read all your comments sad <laughs> it's like i i find them really fascinating and i think everybody here you know when you're in the sagittarius tribe here on this channel as we call it the sag the sagittarius tribe everybody shares a lot of really wonderful and um kind of nurturing information or interesting information in a nurturing way like people get it people understand it here so um, you're in a good space, Sagittarius, if you're here. Okay. Welcome to the tribe. We've got the Star Keeper coming up in your immediate future for April. The Star Keeper, this is the Cosmic Ancestor. Seed the light by staying grounded. That's not always easy, is it? This is in your immediate future. And I would say it's because of all this really intense energy that's coming up. Yeah, good luck staying grounded. <laughs> We're going to try, right? Here's um, your more extended future, the Earth Pulsing. 
the pulse of Mother Earth slow down and time in nature. Take time in nature. It'll really help your grounding. I see why these came up side by side. Uh, here's your energy. This is sort of how other people might be perceiving you at this time. Sag, this is you are not alone. And this comes up so often in these readings for Sagittarius. This is isolation, physical connection, and community. And you may be feeling isolated, Sag, because you're out there on the cutting edge. You know, it is hard um, being a star seed. It's, I think it's hard being Sagittarius. I really do. Uh, people misunderstand Sagittarius. It's like people don't necessarily get Sag. And you're not for everybody, you know. So I think a lot of times Sagittarius finds themselves isolated, which is why I'm really glad there's a Sagittarius tribe here on this channel, because at least we can connect with each other here. Because it's not that easy to connect with people, you know. It's like um, Sagittarius doesn't really connect with what I call the normies, you know, that do normal stuff because sometimes Sagittarius is um, not in that normal mold. You came from the starseed mold and you're different. And I'm talking a mold like a template, you know, you came from that rather than um, coming in to do a nine to five job and coming in to just do what you're told to do. You're very independent. You're truth seekers. You're not going to just do what you're told to do. You're like, well, why? <laughs> you know, Sagittarius is going to question things. And sometimes other people don't like the truth. I've, I've noticed this a lot in my life that um, even as a kid, I would blurt out the truth about something and um, adults didn't really take it so well. So you may have done that too. Yeah, I, I was not popular for that when I was a kid. <laughs> I don't know about you. But what I'm getting, what I'm trying to get at here is it isn't a very isolating thing. When you see the truth and you know the truth and you see through things and you see through people, people are uncomfortable around that. A lot of people are uncomfortable, Sag, with that, as you know. You well know that, right? And it is a very isolating thing. So it's nice to be around tribe members who get it. It's interesting, seriously, of all these cards, um, this one comes up a lot when I pull cards for Sagittarius. And you guys are the only only sign I use these cards for because that's how much you connect with this. And that's not to say people of other signs are not star seeds because they certainly are. But I think there are large numbers of Sagittarius or either Sagittarius understands it more because of your psychic abilities. You know, you understand where you're from more. So I hope this is helping if you if you don't if you didn't know you were a star seed and you're just starting to feel it and you're here, there's a reason for that and welcome. You know, we're, we're all learning more about this together. So here's your final card for um, the star seeds and this is the Lost Lands. Yeah. <laughs> Soul memories. Soul memories. And I've got the goosebumps right now so big. This is... Um, this is what we do on this channel for Sagittarius is we're bringing up these soul memories and looking into your rare soul starseed gifts. Okay, that's what this is about. And it says you have done this before, Sag. You've done this before. And I know a lot of you either know that directly or you feel it or you felt it before. You couldn't put your finger on it and maybe right now you are putting your finger on it. So there's your starseed forecast for looking into this first week of April, maybe the whole month, but definitely first week of April as a star seed. Now, we're gonna go over and I'm gonna pull some of these um, tea leaf cards for you, Sag. Let's shuffle these up a little bit and let's see what's coming in your earth life. <laughs> now we're gonna see if we can mesh these two together and see what Sagittarius needs to know. Okay, month of July. Now we're looking into April, but they're talking about July here. So let's see what this, see what they say. Here's the fan. There may be, here's your word that you guys run from, romance. <laughs> romance, yes, I said it. Four letter word for some of you. <laughs> romance, celebration, and party. 
Sagittarius, okay? I know some of you do want love and some of you run from it and I understand why I do because you've had a lot of you've had a raw deal with love. That isolation thing, I mean, it, it's a real thing. You know, I get it. Hey, stuck. Karma, you will, uh, you will reap what you have sown. So there's something about karma coming in and this could have to do with romance. Like you may have already paid off karma or you may have gotten out of a karmic situation that wasn't even yours. It could have been your partner um, went for karmic to work out their karmic debt. So now you're feeling isolated, but now there's going to be some kind of romance or celebration or party coming in maybe in July. Okay. I know I'm asking about April, but here it is, July. Here's the gong, some kind of exciting event coming up. Now this is feeling like this month having to do with your success. This card always reminds me of, um, you know, Dr. Emoto, is that his name? Dr. Emoto, the Japanese um, doctor who does the water crystal stuff that he does. You know about it. If you know, you know, okay. And I feel like there might be some exciting event about that. This made me think about it as one thing. Another thing is, this is for you personally, there's going to be some really exciting thing having to do with your success, like a celebration about the success or um, a party. Somebody's throwing you a party because of some success you're getting, Sag. There's something there about major success coming in. Here's the rainbow card. The most difficult part of a situation is now over. Yeah, and that was having to do for a lot of you with romance, karmic relationships and all that stuff, okay? And here we have a distant friend is thinking of you. Yeah, here in Mercury retrograde, no doubt you have friends, people thinking about you at this time, but this is somebody distant and this could be somebody from a diff whole different country, you know, around the world who's thinking of you during this Mercury retrograde. You may hear from them. Let's see. I think it was Sagittarius, and I was trying to remember the last reading I did for Sag, I think I was picking up an apology coming from somebody, a past person. So it could have to do with that. Here's the ear, there's some kind of good news. <laughs> good news, success, a party, all of that stuff. Good stuff coming up, Sag. Let me pull a couple more cards. Let's see if there's anything else they wanna tell us about any of these things or anything additional, okay? Anything else Sagittarius needs to know? Actually, I don't wanna use these cards. Let's go to these. What else does Sag need to know? These are the Astro Matrix cards, and I really do like these a lot. I like the size, the weight, the pictures. Okay, you need to know there's going to be some sort of um, transition you're going through. This is the death card. I'm curious what else they have to say about that. Seven of Swords, somebody sneaky. Um, as a separate meaning, could have been a sneaky Scorpio energy that um, did a number on some of you. Yeah, Knight of Wands that blocked you from moving, maybe. Hmm. Hermit. Could also be some Virgo energy here with this Hermit card. And also Hermit reversed is isolation. Kind of transition. Mm, magician, you're manifesting, Sag. <laughs> you are working those elements and yeah, and you're getting some sort of new opportunity. So a couple of things here you need to know, additional things. You're going through some sort of a big transition with this death card, okay? And transition like from caterpillar to butterfly, okay? That's what the image I'm getting. There was something about a Knight of Wands reversed. So um, I feel like some, something was blocked, like you were going into a different house or a house is one of the things I'm seeing where you were getting ready to move. Some kind of sneaky energy may have thrown that off with the Seven of Swords, somebody manipulative, somebody manipulated you out of a house or moving or blocked it or something like that, okay? 
Now also we've got um, this reverse tournament card, which is you feeling potentially isolated like the other, like the star seed card said. And we talked about that. But also look at this. <laughs> this is really good, Sag. So magician and three of pentacles. You know what that means, especially if you read cards. This is all about you manifesting new opportunities. Let's see what these new opportunities might be before I go. What are the new opportunities for Sagittarius coming up? New opportunities for Sag. Oh, a king of swords. Somebody really intelligent and successful may be coming in. We have got, what is this, Temperance card? Yeah, Temperance, that's your card, Sag. And Three of Cups, there's your party. Walking away saying goodbye, maybe because of a third party tower, okay. Okay, so what I'm getting here, I'm asking what kind of new opportunities, what are you guys manifesting, okay? So for some of you, you're manifesting shocking changes that are coming up with this tower card and walking away from something, okay? Saying goodbye to something that didn't work, potentially a third party situation. But for some of you, this is your party that was shown earlier, romance, celebration, and party. This can literally be a party. So for some of you, it's, it's indicating that. Here's your Sagittarius card right next to King of Swords. And this King of Swords, um, I just get like so much intelligence from him. And you know, Sagittarius is a very intelligent sign. Um, those of you enlightened Sagittarius in particular, very mental, there's a lot of mental energy that goes on with you and you would be a good match for a king of swords who is in his enlightened state as well. Okay. Somebody very intelligent, a thinker, a lot of air energy and it's right next to temperance. So it's right next to the Sagittarius card. So this is either you being in the new partnership for some of you, for some of you, um, this king of swords is actually a Sagittarius representing that and for some of you there's just more flow of energy and this may be you Sag so take it as it resonates okay I think I'm going to leave you with this today because there is success coming in you're manifesting it and you're getting lots of new opportunities okay so I'm really excited about this I feel like you're breaking free from a lot of things I feel like you're going to the next level on a lot of things with um you know, especially with all this energy coming in with the eclipse energy and Mercury retrograde and everything. And I feel like this is happening at last, <laughs> you know, like all this success is coming in finally about time for Sagittarius, right? Coming at last. So thanks so much for being here with the Sagittarius tribe. You're always welcome here. Thanks for all your nice comments and I will see you guys again soon. Have a great week. Okay. Bye.